Mars by Ed Durant Burroughs. I'll say right off the bat, it's, it's a very decent novel. So here are a couple of the Warlord of Mars copies I have. A couple for my collection. The hardback actually contains uh, the second story as well as the third. So we have the Gods of Mars, which I did a review on. And now, the current review, the Warlord of Mars. And the paperback is just solely the Warlord of Mars. I like them. They're good, good copies. Edgar Rice Burroughs' Warlord of Mars is a swashbuckling adventure at its heart, and definitely an old-fashioned novel, with strong elements of the early 20th century way of storytelling. Much like the first two, not only is it told in first person, but it follows the same recipe of the earlier novels pretty closely as John Carter slays his adversaries trying to rescue his beloved wife and princess, Tejal Thoris. It's a classic read with a real feel from an easier day and age. You really get absorbed into Barsoom's sprawling red world, getting to find out what happens as John Carter explores the northern ice cap and learns of the yellow inhabitants. Also getting to take in all of John Carter's stoic manliness, furthermore, as he against all odds, may I say, attempts to bring peace from conflict and seemingly always wins. It's the solid good versus evil plot. Then there's the one-dimensional characters lacking depth, but hey now, they all play their roles quite decently and predictably. Really, it's the same old formula of an overused plot, Edgar, as used beforehand. The gallantry exposed in a previous drama that Edgar wrote is certainly to entertain, as he spewed realistically marvelous narratives of fantasy and sci-fi creating worlds of bewildering fancies beyond the bounds of which we can even comprehend. Let's not forget, though, all of this, all of what he has wrote, pretty much made the blueprints to all sci-fi to this day. I don't know what it is about these books, but they're just, they're so beautiful, so pure, so good-heartedly written, the grandiose Victorian flaunt-fest of nightliness. And, let's not forget, lots of action. It's literally like almost like watching the old He-Man cartoons from the 1980s, but everyone's naked instead. Because hey now, it's Barsoom, why not? <laughs> Except where it's cold, then you get some furs, but the story's somewhat repetitive works. Tis but a pleasant read, my friends, I recommend it. Especially if you are into the whole sci-fi genre. I rate the book a three-star. 